afternoon, good evening, wherever you're going to be watching this, and whenever. Um, right now it's 10:58 uh, on Thursday morning, I believe, December 23rd. And to you guys, as my surprise, I already have an order. And that's order with uh, Dorda, uh, with uh, Uber Eats. Give you guys in a minute, just let things get on the road and get going with this order. So with DoorDash, you guys can see, um, started out with 4.91, 36% on a substance rate and completion rate at 97. Everything is in front of you guys. Uh, I have taken in a position and I put myself out on the timer. Because I tried to get uh, on DoorDash just about 2-3 minutes before 11 o'clock to get myself in the position before all the rest of the crowd for the lunch hour gets on the platform to secure myself a spot that I believe is probably some somewhat decent spots in my situation as a top dasher. Um, when next month I'll be not a top dasher, I'll be do, doing some tests. And see when it would be the best spot to get on the platform, especially in my area. Now, so I got on the platform immediately, put in a pause because I already had the delivery. Let me guys pull up the Uber Eats order because I believe I took a screenshot of it. And surprise you guys how risky I can be sometimes. So this is the order I actually took with uh, Uber Eats. Yes, it's crazy. It's uh, 13 miles, $16.68. Uh, possibly of them hiding anything, I doubt it. It's gonna be as uh, we can see probably. Uh, it's 32 minute run one direction. I'm hoping I can get back in 45. That's by 11.45, or maybe pick up something in uh, Versailles, because that's where it's taking me. It's taking me to Versailles, and possibly even to the same guy that I delivered last time, but they paid the last time 20, to, uh, 20 or $21 going there. So. so that's my start out. Hopefully, I won't regret it, and it will run smoothly. My morning hour, as you guys can be able to see it on the weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to run it on a Saturday night or Sunday night. Probably Sunday night. Around 6 in the evening Eastern Time. Is I'll have all those combined into one video. And I need to switch over to Uber so I know where. where it's going to be a long video. Probably be hour long, if not longer. Because we will have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday mornings all combined into one video. Some interesting stuff there to see. Also see where I dash in the morning. Uh, I'm starting to find likeliness to certain areas. Uh, Sometimes I notice my morning can be good. And then the afternoon or evening can be bad. Or morning can be good and then after rest of the day is just fantastic so it varies uh, not always you can judge your morning the rest of the day so I will be back when we complete this delivery and for those of you that saying oh uh, it's not worth it uh, I'm having a hard time finding these deliveries so I can get to $20 an hour I am having a hard time finding these hidden tips, orders. I got some good news for you guys. Uh, beginning of the new year, starting with January, some things will change. And here are the two things that will change based on my opinion. If 
you live in the northern part of the United States. Uh, first of all, the most aggressive winter starts after the New Year's. That's in January. Which will create an impact on a lot of people because say, you know what, I do not want to go out and freeze to pick up that delivery, uh, that order that we placed. I'll uh, have it get it delivered. So there'll be more business coming in because of the colder weather. Now, two, and I can actually come down to three. Second is, there might will be some drivers saying, you know what, it's just too cold to go out. I'm not ready. I do not have clothes or that was the situation. My vehicle's not ready. So that group will drop out as well. And then there's also a big group that will drop out is the one that actually we're doing dashing just to during the holiday season. And when the January comes, that's you know that the holiday is over from their point of view, their opinion, and they'll drop out uh, from deliv doing deliveries. So we'll have more deliveries, most likely last drivers, and I'm hoping for at least 15 to 20% of last drivers, if not more. Uh, and also those people that will that usually pick up and will uh, ask for deliveries, uh, they usually tend to tip more. So we're gonna start seeing more of a uh, hidden tips coming around again as well. Which right now they're out shopping, they're out doing. It's holiday season, and they're doing you know a lot of uh, picking up themselves. But they'll come back again, and they'll become uh, the ones that will be delivering. So guys, two miles make a I'm looking on forward. Street. I'm looking forward to January and February because those are the usually the two coldest months out of the year and maybe some of you will look forward to that as well so just wanted to share that with you guys raise your guys's um, attitude toward attitude towards the January and February uh, months because I believe those can be nice months for us something else I don't know if it's uh, across the country or just here in Lexington there's so many cops today just out to get people you know they're out checking speed limits uh, out checking people running red lights in a it's half mile crazy. make a left turn on Maple Street actually we had a cop today where he almost got me in an accident where he was using a controller of the light and he would let one two three cars through and then he would immediately switch it to yellow and red Trying to see how many more cars will jump the red light so he can actually uh, chase them and write him a red light ticket. It's just, you know, sometimes they'll go just beyond, you know, to write that ticket. And what he was doing is just, from my book of view, it's just beyond. I am coming up here on a turn. Uh, nope, it looks like it's taking it Make to a, a left turn guy. on Maple Street. We have completed that to Uber delivery, 11.18. If I hustle, I'll probably be back, like I said, by 11.45 into Lexington. But I have to first figure out how to get out of here. Because I am on... Who knows where at this point. So, um... On my other phone, I did check the Versalis area. Is it busy? No, it's gray. Um, I don't want to change zones right now. Uh, until I get back to Lexington, I'm probably going to go back to Lexington North. Uh, but in Versalis, nothing's happening. Nothing much happening, but I do have both of the apps on just in case they are short of drivers and uber eats has a deliver here i'll take it if it pays good so it took me 20 minutes to get it delivered actually not 20 
probably 16 minutes to get it delivered. And then let's see how long it will take me to get back to Lexington. Okay, I'm out of Versailles, leaving Versailles, and zero luck, nothing, nada. So going back, and Lexington like not that far, but I will need to change the zones uh, from Lexington, like so I will be doing that now. As you guys can see, spot saved until 11.51, which is no problem. I uh, should be... Jeez, another cup. They're just busy out here today. I have not... You know, you usually never see them. You know, they're just patrolling the road, but today they're out to get you. Um... Should be there within 10 minutes or so. And we will start ashing.
Guys, I do apologize. Uh, sometime I forget for whatever reason to turn it off. Or it doesn't turn off, I don't know. Don't verify it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get on another side of the Circle Road 4 and see if I can pick up in that shopping center down there something. If not, then we'll head out further up north on the Circle Road. But I'm already, as you guys can see, it. Uh, almost at uh, New Circle Road and it's 11.32 so it took me 32 minutes to deliver and come back into the area again. So first order for the lunch hour on DoorDash and it's sending down the river sending it down the river It's not big enough, it's not attractive enough, we're not taking it. We're going to leave it in the river, let it get some more weight on it, and hopefully it will become attractive to someone down the river. I'm back into this area, man, Wendy's are busy, Taco Bell is busy. Let's see if we can pick something up here. Starbucks drive through is busy. Taco Bell is busy, Zaxby's drive through is busy, so, uh, looks like, oh, we got a Taco Bell for 475 going down the street, 2.6 miles. Do you want to take it? Uh, probably not. Taco. Taco Bell, you're not friendly to us. So let's send it down the river. Hopefully it will become 625 for someone firehouse subs. Uh, yeah, I don't think lobby is open for at Taco Bell as well. As you guys see, I'm testing out new areas. I'm trying to figure out where which of those areas are good. Okay, we got another offer here. It's Happy Panda. Seven bucks, seven and a half miles. I'll take it. Jeez, it is going. No, too far, guys. A little bit more pay. Ten bucks. Maybe I'll take it. Too, too far. I don't think I went that far yet, and I'm not planning to do that today. Six twenty-five. That hidden magic number, one point seven miles. Finally, we found our guy, but we might have to wait a little at the Applebee's. So 
So here's our first DoorDash delivery for the lunch hour. Got it picked up and now on my way with the delivery. And you guys can see it's about three minutes out. Should be done before noon. Okay, that delivery had a 50 cents hidden tip on it. I'm not sure if I had a chance to take a screenshot before they send me this order. And I'll take this one. Doesn't doesn't have any indication of hidden tip on it. Hey, but I should be able to get it done in a half an hour. So, going for it. So they want me to take the. Head north on McConnell Springs Freeway. Road toward Old Frankfurt Pike, then turn left onto Old Frankfurt Pike. What I'm going Take the next left onto Old Frankfurt Pike. I'm gonna go. Go the way I came in. Take the next right onto Old Frankfurt Pike. No, in a quarter no mile, railroad. turn left onto South Forbes Road. No train in the area, I should be fine. So I guess I did take the screenshot so you guys can see the offer was 625, it is 675. Take the next of a left onto tip. Lee's Town Road. So we completed the first hour 23 dollars that's 1668 plus the 675 that's brings the 22 plus the coins of 23 something um, which good and then we have already picked up uh, this order uh, the Applebee's one that's 9.75, so it says I should be at the customer by 12.15. Hopefully that is true. Turn left onto Lee's Town Road, then turn right onto the Kentucky 4 East Ramp. And turn right onto the Kentucky 4 East Ramp. When I get there, I'll keep you guys posted. Of course, I'll need to come back. Me? In a quarter mile, oh, merge no. onto Kentucky 4 North. I'll have some restaurants there as well, so I should be in a good spot to pick up next delivery and keep on going. So, get back to you guys when I get that drop off. So, completed it. 9.75 and it took me about 17 minutes or so and here we have Sakura coming in for five bucks can I get it done you know it's a good offer but can I get it done in 15 minutes? Probably not. So declining it, sending it down the river. Let's see if something else comes in. <clears throat> so now, I have a delivery across the town, seven and a half miles for eleven dollars. Can I complete it in half an hour? So I have two pickups here. Where where's the second drop off? Is it drop off to one customer? I'll take it. Let's take it, and we'll find out. This delivery gives me a little bit more than a half hour to complete. Let's hope it's successful. Okay, I got both of the orders picked up, two different places. Not too bad from each other. And I already looked up the addresses of the clients. It's a uh, 
two customers. It's either houses across of each other or just about a one. There's a house in between them. Something in that I, I didn't check exactly. Odds or evens. You know, they're on one side or opposite, but very close on the same street. Just a couple numbers difference. So, let's see what happens. It's telling me I should be at the first line at 1248. Uh, because we're going through downtown, it's probably going to be more like 1255. <clears throat> but, uh, but we'll get there. Uh, I think we should be having a good hour, good lunch hour for the second hour. So as we get to the end of the hour and we finish those two deliveries, we should be at about uh, 43 bucks minimum. That is if there won't be any hidden tip. If there will be any hidden tip, then actually hold on. What? Eleven fifty, so that's twelve. So minimum actually thirty five, if there be no tip. If forty five, sorry, we no tip. So doing nice the way I would say it, and doing better in north. Lexington then South Lexington for lunch. Okay, completed those two. There was no hidden tip. Now they want me to go to Versailles for six twenty five. No. Try to go down the river. Somebody probably gonna pick it up around ten bucks. Take it. So So where I'm at, I need to turn around. There's a way to turn around from this. Yes, right and right. Now, so we got the 28. Like I said, 28 here, and now. So 28 here and 16 here, that's put us at 38, 44, 44, 69. So the first hour was, is nice. We're about uh, what, 22 hour, bucks an hour so far. Let's see if we can find more business, more pickup. And I do need to turn the Uber on. Mm -hmm. Hey. The hotspot, you guys see where it's at? I need to jump on the freeway and head out to the... And for those of you that are saying, Hey, Slavic, why are you not running three apps? Here's the reason why. I'm still learning how to juggle two. So three will be a little too much for me right now. So as I get comfortable with juggling two, I might add Grubhub to the party as well. But now DoorDash and Uber Eats are, are enough of me because I forget half of the time to turn the Uber Eats off when I'm not able to take their orders. So let now two is good for me. 
I got this offer. 8.6 mile for 675. No thanks. Send it down the river. Let the river do its job. But I'm not fishing that one out because it's just not enough of pay. That means six bucks. I have to get it delivered. Get it all complete. Fifteen minutes. Not. In, I cannot get that done in fifteen minutes and get myself into a good spot for another delivery. So decline. We're not doing two twenty-fives. Uh, we're letting him go down the river. So Taco Bell is busy, Wendy's is busy, so those places are out of the picture when we pick up any orders. I wonder why I have not been getting any Walgreens lately. Mm -hmm. well, we do got a Walmart, 15 items for $7.25. Uh, no, well, this is not even a question, but... I was thinking about what if that would be express. It would be a good idea. I will swing around. Hopefully get something here. What do you guys think about this Taco Bell order? I don't like it, but I'll take it. It pays thirteen twenty, which means I am Head covered. Head to your pickup at Taco Bell seventeen sixty eight. Char Sorry guys, pause you guys. Uh, it covers me for over half an hour. It's a twenty two minute delivery, or something. Make a left turn on Sharky Way. And I guess they already calculated the wait time at Taco Bell. Taco Bell's lobby is most likely opened, so I see some cars. At the parking lot, so I'm assuming they're open. Make a right so, turn. So that's the only reason why I decided to take it, and hopefully it will pay itself off. Pick up on the right. So let's go see what happens. Was this a good choice or not? Picked it up on my way. Uh, they had it. I believe ready. I just went in and took, since you know, a lobby's open, took care of my business, personal stuff. And in one mile, take right exit 8 onto US Highway 25 north toward Georgetown. Well, guys and ladies, when you actually have access to restrooms and, and stuff, you do not know when is the next time you might have, have a chance. So, take care of your business and get back at the road this way you know you feel comfortable feeling great and you don't have to worry about oh i need to go and where am i going to go in a half mile take right exit 8 onto us highway 25 north toward georgetown using the upcoming right lane so don't wait until you have to go when you have an opportunity take advantage of that opportunity i completed that uber eats but as i was completing the uber eats delivery you know the all the buttons at the bottom so as i was heading to take a picture they s were sending me an offer at the same time so i have no clue where it goes i have no clue all Make i know a that right it's turn to stay on carney creek lane that i'm picking up at the advanced auto parts how much it's paying Nothing. Not even sure where to go. Make a left turn on Meadow Sweet Lane. Not sure is it worth it or not worth it. So, I guess. How much is paying? Nothing. I guess we'll see. Just ahead, completed. make a right turn on Carney Ridge Boulevard. So, yeah, sometimes sometime this happens, and I notice this happens at DoorDash. Make a right and, turn on Carney Ridge Boulevard. And this happens at Uber Eats as well, I guess.
you know, make a right turn on Georgetown Road. These buttons should make be a right turn on Georgetown Road. Different places, not like this, like it is. I'm hoping this is a good delivery because otherwise it's going to destroy all my efforts putting in for the last two and a half hours. This last delivery was weird. Um, showed up at Advanced Auto Parts. And she's a store manager. She's like, hey, our system been down for three days. Most likely we deliver this order. Here's an item. You know, accept it as you would, you know, accept the item. And so I did, you know, for the picture purposes. And it takes me back to the same place to drop off at Advanced Auto Parts. Same address. And she's like, right now, uh, take a picture and return that item back to me that you just uh, been holding in the hand. So it would allow me to return. I had it to hit cancel. And they paid me four bucks for it. So what exactly going on on an Uber system? Do not know, but for showing up to Advanced Auto Parts and spinning there for five or seven minutes, I got four bucks. Now we have a uh, for Lee's Garden, and that goes all the way down to there. I'll take it. Good pay. Let's take a screenshot. And accept this offer. So let's go. So make a right. And so that surprise delivery that automatically got uh, accepted by a picture turned out paying four dollars. I spent on it, I don't know, maybe maximum ten minutes. Now I got another order. Hey, and these thirteen dollar orders, thirteen ninety, thirteen fifty. $14 order. In one mile, they, make a right turn on Lima Drive. That take half hour to do. I'll take them all day long. As long as they get, they are back to back. And the manager at AutoZone was very nice. She's like, hey, I'm the manager. I'm authorizing you. And I'm not just authorizing. I'm telling you, do this so you can get paid for showing mile, up. In a half mile, make a right turn on Lima Drive. So, you know, she was actually putting the effort to make sure that I get paid even though it was a bullshit order. They, well, an order that didn't really exist. Or at least they were not aware of. So. I'll actually share something, guys, with you. I would love to sometime in the future own my own restaurant. Uh, where I could cook some of the Russian dishes as well as do my own creations so but that project would have to be at a time when I all my financial situations are taken care of and that will be treated as hobby not as a business or source of income So guys, I'm 68 bucks in uh, for three hours, but it should be 60, so we're about uh, 23 bucks an hour, slightly under uh, for this lunch hour. I like it very much. Let's keep on going. See what else comes comes our way. I'll try to see if I can dash. Uh, let's look at this. It is a downtown delivery. And I'm going to the guys decline it. I don't know how to do these downtown deliveries. I wish somebody could send me a channel how they doing it. 
Otherwise, it would be a good uh, a good delivery. But of course, you know, when you break that chain of them sending you orders and you don't take it, they'll start sending you crap. So down the river it goes. Down the river it goes. Here's another offer, 625 Taco Bell. I try to avoid these places. I'm not sure, busy right now, not busy right now. So I'm not going to risk it, just because it might not be busy. So, we're declining, sending it down the river. Hopefully someone else out there will take it and will appreciate it. It's just, I learned, I learned it the hard ways, and I'm still learning, still trying to break the habits and not take anything that's just not in my favor. Now, Penn Station, I'll take, I will have to wait for the fries, hey, but it's $9.75, it's 10 bucks. why not? And we're going, where are we going? So we got ourselves an order, and the order is ready. So why not head go north on East New Circle Road toward Eastland Drive? Get it delivered. And I just went through the payouts on Uber. So there's two more orders that they have not paid out the tip on. So the amounts might be slightly more. Let me switch. Same. Hey guys, I delivered this one. 975. I'm having pain. But getting me up, for me to get up on the third floor, it's too hard. Probably gonna take a breath, a break. Talk to you guys later. So, guys, <coughs> something I did wrong on this delivery. I took it because of the payout. Ten bucks, hey, nine something. Wouldn't hurt it. Nine seventy five, almost ten dollars. Yeah, I had to climb up to the third floor, but that's okay. Uh, the problem I made a mistake, it'll put me in a place where there's nothing. So I have to get back. So I'm probably gonna spend the next 10 minutes trying to get back into an area where I can uh, do some work again. So that's 10, 15 minutes of time that nothing covers. It's a free, it's a free time. And that's the reason why I'm looking for this, you know, $2 a mile deliveries. So it doesn't matter, are you in the area or not in the area uh, when you, where you're dropped off? You get a dollar each way to cover your return back. This way, it's worth it, you know. You're going on three miles, you got six bucks plus tip. Now you're returning back those three miles are covered at a dollar a piece 
or you know, you go on a 10 mile run. That's you know, that's 20 bucks, but ten dollars to get you there and ten dollars to get you back plus tip. Down the river it goes. I didn't even look at I seen it's Walmart, I didn't even look at anything else. And you know even if you know, if they show 50 bucks for a one item delivery 10 miles on Walmart, maybe I would consider it then. But not for under 10 bucks. Whatever that was. Hey right, guys, I'm heading back. Hopefully, we'll pick something up on my way back. And here we have another one. And as I like to say, down the river it goes. 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 And here we have another one. We're gonna send it down the river. 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 Now, finally, we got something. Not exactly, I would like to say, perfect. And it's sending me to downtown. And that's, be honest, that's the only way to get this delivered. Guys, uh, 5.50, what is my... 5.5 miles, 8.50, this is 7.7. 7. Guys, there's no kitten tip, and I'm not taking it. So, we're gonna send it down the river. There's a lot more fish in the river, and there are giants in the river. We're not going to take the ones that just not worth our time. So we'll wait for better paying fish, or we'll just sit till 3 o'clock, whichever one. Whichever one. So let's see what else we can get. Okay, we got this eggs, Zaxby's and Applebee's grill bar. They're four dollars a piece. Um, problem is, this orders cannot be complete, picked up and complete under ha half an hour, and, and really they need to be complete in 20 minutes. It's not realistic. You know, the numbers look attractive. It's eight bucks. Let's do it. But when you start thinking about it, is it really worth it? No. You're not. Eight bucks, 20 bucks an hour. That equals to about 25, 22 minutes about. There's no way you can complete that delivery in 22 minutes. So guys, when you're out there, do some math in your head. Run some numbers. And, and keep in mind, every 15 minutes, for $20, to be $20 at an hour, that means you need $5 for every 15 minutes of cover time. If there is no cover time, that means... And you guys also want to consider putting yourself in a spot where you guys can pick up another order like this the last one I did. See, I just wasted 15 minutes trying to come back into an area where I actually pick and pick up an order. Am I going to be able to pick up an order? We'll see. But one thing I can tell you, I am not going to take something that's not worth it. 
I used to, but, you know, right now we're coming down to the slow time. Maybe, you know, some orders were taken, but no, not yet. And I might have to, to a place for it to eat. Again, six dollars, four point five miles. According to my cheat cheat sheet, it's supposed to be seven seventy five, which means there's not enough to have a hidden tip. Six dollars, that's close to five. Can I get this completed in fifteen minutes? No way. Where is gonna leave me off? Not in the bad spot either. Do, is it somewhere I wanna uh, go to? No, it's not. Is it worth this delivery? No, it's not. So we're going to send it down the river. And remember, the faster you can send these down the river, the faster our chance of you pick, getting another order coming in, it comes. Because remember, when these orders comes in, whoever is available is who they're going to send it next. So you're, if you're thinking about making a decision on your order, that means that order will not arrive to you. They'll send it to someone else. And then if he cancels it and then you're available, then they'll send it back to you. So the faster you can send them down the river, the faster you can get that next order. So now we have the advanced auto parts. 7.2 miles, $10. Obviously there is no tip on it because, you know, it's a business to business. But I'll take it. It's 10 bucks, and I should be able to get it done in half an hour. It doesn't take me where I want it to go, but at least, you know, it's 10 bucks. Head northeast on Town Center Drive towards Sharkey Way. So I want to actually zoom up this hour because it's going to be the end. I'm not going to have you guys wait for another 30 minutes how I did on this. In 400 feet, turn left onto Lee's Town Road. Or maybe I will, I don't know. We'll see. So... Uh, we had 28 miles before we got reset. We got 10 miles on the last, uh, 10 dollars on last delivery, 28 dollars on the previous day. That's gonna put us at 38 dollars. And Uber still have not showed the all amount. So, so 38. Plus what we're seeing on Uber right now. So that puts us... Uh, come on. 80 bucks for four hours. So we're at least at $20 an hour. And I know there's two tips that have not been paid. That means I, I know I am around 21, 22 bucks an hour. Even though we sat silent for the last half hour no income uh, I will honestly uh, pause this uh, I will you know finish it after this delivery for you guys can actually see that's gonna be another ten dollars towards another half hour so as long as we can complete this by 330 with this delivery you guys will know I'm in good shape and I kept my 20 plus per hour during this lunch run and I'll close it out because honestly I should be way over the hundred bucks for from the morning and this lunch hour so oh yeah I'm I have 39 from the morning 20 38 right uh, before this Delivery that puts me at 40 and then 40, 80 and then 40 of those. That's uh, I'm already at 120 bucks. It'd be slightly under 130 bucks with the with this delivery. So it was a very nice day. Of course, I did start it off today at nine, so I had the two hours to make the 39, and that video will be out. Probably at 6 o'clock on Sunday night. Uh, for the whole week uh, of morning runs. So, 
Uh, this is the way the schedule is. Uh, so pretty much Monday through Friday, if I come out to like earlier than 11 o'clock, I do the recordings. Those will come out on Sunday night at 6. Then um, from 11 till 2 or 3, they come out daily at 6, unless I run into an issue with editing. Otherwise, they'll show up around 6 of that day that I did the run. And, um, and then in the mornings, I do various different topics. Some uh, Easter time, all the time is Eastern time. And I do those uh, topics somewhere between 8 and 9, and 9.30, somewhere in that time frame. And those are lives. Uh, and on the weekend, I'll, you know, I'll, uh, I'll uh, edit them, create the screenshots or the thumbnails and all of that stuff that happens on the weekend. Guys. Too much, dashing too much on the weekdays away from home don't have time to work on the channel other than doing the recording and uploads during the weekdays so let's see how quickly we can get this picked up dropped off and and move on with my day and let you guys go so guys you can see it says i should be done by 3 10 and it's 10.25. That's, uh, you know, these are the deliveries that it's worth. You know, these deliveries are paying you to go pick, them, uh, pick that item up, take it to the customer, and you still have enough of time for the payment that they did, enough of time to get to another pickup. Or maybe, you know, raise your hourly rate for the day so you definitely you know grab those deliveries go out make money with those deliveries you know hunt for those deliveries it's not about you know just a hidden tip it's about being successful it's about taking the hidden tip deliveries with nice uh, you know pay up tips and combining them with these delivers that actually make it worthwhile. Little extra mileage. Hey, especially this North Lexington. Yes, there's quite a bit of a lights, but not as much of traffic other than by the Walmart area. You are just going, 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 and going. I like it here a lot more than actually South Lexington. Um, they have something to do with the Nicholas uh, Road. I personally believe they should build a bridge and created a expressway uh, from downtown uh, all the way past uh, the Man of War. And you know, anybody's going to, to Nicholasville or further, they just go through the expressway right above. That will reduce the amount of traffic we have by the mall. Otherwise, just crazy amount of traffic down there. And by the way, if you guys watch my channel, you guys will notice this is the second advanced auto parts delivery in the last couple of weeks that I'm doing. I think in the last two or three weeks. And how does the food, you know, get along with the parts? The last time, the first time I picked up advanced auto parts, the door handle was dirty. So I got my hands dirty. I don't know, walking in or walking out. So how does that kind of, you know, grease and food get along? What is you guys' opinion on that? Hey, it is pays nice. 10 bucks for 15 minutes of work. I don't mind it. But again... Kind of grosses me out when you think about food and grease in the same vehicle. So we completed that order. Added so 
I'm done guys, it's 310 and I'm done with the delivery and now I'm gonna be looking to see how to get myself to exactly east from where I'm at. Hopefully I'll have some luck. Um, but I did well over 20 bucks an hour today, 22, 23 bucks an hour. I'm estimating about. So was a good one. Um, guys, I need one help from you guys. Like my videos. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And help me spread uh, the word about about the channel. Here's the reason why I'm asking. It's not about, you know, reaching a uh, thousand subscribers and qualifying for that income. Yes, it's nice. And, you know, and I'm putting work to why not I should get paid for it. But there's, a, but there's another reason why. And that other reason is a couple months ago, I did not know how to do, make the 20 bucks an hour. I... I was struggling. I had issues. I didn't know how to solve my financial situation. And DoorDash was not uh, helping me either by sending the 225s. So, you know, let's, let's help those that are in need of help. Let's spread the word so, so they can actually know that they can make, they can pay their bills. And if they even work, you know, for seven days, for the 10, 12 hours a day, Guys, I do not recommend seven days. There's reasons why. And you guys can watch one of my recent videos I did about how to... I don't remember the name of the video. But the reality is... If you do if you do a lot of hours, you can actually make over 50000 a year uh, door dashing. That is, that is right. So, guys... Um, it can be done, and as I'll tell you guys, share it, help me, share it, so we can get the message to the people that are in need, so they can go out and actually pay their bills, take care of their families. Be blessed, and I'll be back tomorrow morning.